<sighs> All right. Um, we're going to play Armor King. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I, I like playing King. Uh, the more I stay in the Tekken 7 fandoms and reddits and subreddits and stuff, the more I realize every character I play is the the assault post somewhere. <laughs> but then I think that's basically every Tekken player that's not Brian. <laughs> um, but like, uh, yeah, oh, King is for people who don't like being good at a game and fuck Aram's busted because he's DLC. I'm like, oh... I like Farquharon because he's a big buff Muay Thai guy, so I play Josie sometimes, but like, you know, I'm going to try some Armor King because uh, they play significantly different King and Armor King. I'd say Armor King has a lot less throw shit going on. He still has a lot. That's just a standard throw, I think. But he does a lot more of that flippy shit. Except I do it at unsafe times, and that's my fault. Because I'm a beginner, you can see in the corner. <laughs> Good, I punched that woman. Oh, bad stomach acid. I will not stop making lame jokes, fuck you. <laughs> For those in the non-stream that are saying fuck off with your dad jokes. No, I will not. This isn't a stream, but I can hear it. Ah yes, everyone's favorite character. I don't think Lucky Chloe is coming back, you know? <laughs> I can get why people are annoyed by her, but for me, I think it's really just she's not interesting. Like, if I was gonna play like any female character, well, I already play Katarina and Josie, but like, uh, if I was gonna play any other, I used to play Lily in Tekken 5, and she's really good fun. And like, Asuka's really cool. And you, there's just so many options that I would say are better move sets that uh, also have long blonde hair if you want to just look at girls with long blonde hair <laughs> like I, I just don't understand I guess it's an ego thing I, I don't know I mean this generation of fighting games Street Fighter this a lot more like waifu bait just injected and you're like ah I came here to play that game I like and oh they've just added a fuck ton more like waifu bait and like gigas <laughs> hey I made that joke already I don't like this. The high speed matches give me anxiety. Why is everyone moving around like, oh, 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 I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, I'm late for my bus at the volcano. Shut up, Law. Uh, Martial Law is actually one of my more favorite Bruce Lee ripoff characters, I have to admit. I prefer him over Fei Long. And I've forgotten all other ones. Hey, Liu Kang's alright. He's a little more, he's going his own way a little bit though, so, you know. I mean, he has fireballs and shit, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I used to always try and play Fei Long as well. In the Super Turbo. H in the HD remix they put on the Xbox Live Arcade, I was like, I'm gonna learn Fei Long, and like, that didn't work out. I'm not, I'm not really a good Fei Long player. Oh, hello, Shockmaster. Throw the Shockmaster. You're just gonna let me go into a raw, like, spinny giant swing thing. It's not a giant swing. It's your funeral, dude. Good work. 
The power of anime is not on your side this time, Shockmaster. And that's what I think about Lars. Ground him and punch him in the face. I can't believe people get salt about Fakuram and then will, like, defend Lars. So Lars looks like a pile of shit and he's named after one of the worst drummers in Fresh Metal. <laughs> Fuck off with this character, like seriously, stupid hair, his stupid outfits. Like, go back to Blaze Blue. <laughs> Don't belong here. <laughs> oh. Let's listen to some rave music while we wait. I'll actually commentate a match in a minute. Oh, Kunimitsu. Very weird choice as a selection for DLC, but she's here now. I'm just going to do some basic shit here, just punch. Go into a standard throw, get kicked in the face. There we go. The AI is not very hard at this level because I'm still only like bargain basement, so this might just be pretty tame for a bit because I'm not really doing anything, I'm just punching. Okay. Just gonna let me just. Do com that was a complex motion for like, <laughs> and she just stood there and watched me do all of the ducking and shit for it, and just like oh, I'm gonna do the motion. Uh, it's like watch just standing at like punching distance, and I'm just standing there and letting you input the like raging demon thing, and you're just like, you just gonna let me do this, okay? <laughs> ah, it's Shadow the Hedgehog. He is all he is. He is. I is. Now he sounds like he's from Yorkshire. Get perfected. Go back to Shadow the Hedgehog, Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> oh, I used to play Devil Jin because he was on the box of Tekken Dark Resurrection, so I was like, oh, I'll check him out then. And you know, when you're 14, he's really cool. <laughs> That's about the age I was when I was playing him, and you're like, yeah, look, he's got angel wings, but he's also your devil. He will be your angle and your devil. And he has urban tribal. Wow, what a time capsule. Two crates. Ah, yes. I, oh, that reminds me. I used to play Dragunov as well. I thought Dragunov was cool, and then I was like looking at him again. I was like, he's kind of creepy, actually. I, I thought Krav Maga was really cool, or whatever he's doing. I thought, it was, oh, he's really cool. And then I was like, you know, to be fair, Tekken Dark Resurrection, that game, I played so much. And I played basically everyone. I played Marduk, I played Dro Droganov, Lily, King is like, I really got into King, and I played F uh, Feng Wei a lot as well. And I was just really in on a lot of characters. And I learned to play a lot of them. But, uh, you know, it's weird, like. Tekken 5 and Dark Resurrection puts you in a space where you're really, really interested to play a lot of characters that in later games I found I was just nowhere near as interested in playing. Oh, I got, I got bulldozed. <coughs> oh, I'll Frankenstein you anyway. I need to stop talking about Dark Resurrection. <laughs> it's a long time ago that game came out. <laughs> it 
Did anyone else think it's really weird that they were like, oh yeah, Jin's a good guy. And then at Tekken 6, they just turn him into a bad guy. And then there's like, now there's just two different edgelords. There's Jin, standard vanilla edgelord, and Devil Jin, a turbo edgelord. And you can just choose between one edgelord or another. Do you want the pink booties? And the hoodie? Or do you want the big dumb angel wings and bad tribals? I'm just throwing shit out there. Then he throws shit out there and I just throw him. <laughs> and he doesn't know what to do. Spinning back fist. Punching on the head. The head. The head. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, no? Okay. There you go. I thought you were gonna break that. Oh, that did a lot. And just fall and kick. I win. Because they're like low level AI. <laughs> I miss Tekken Tag 2's Rave Fishing Boat. The Rave Fish Boat. People don't talk about the Rave Fish Boat, but it was so good it came up in Pokémon Tournament 2, and they replaced all the fish with Magikarps instead, and it was rad. I will not stop talking about the Rave Fish Boat. I'm being really nervous because I'm so used to like gun reuse at high level just like being really difficult for some reason for me because I don't fight them often. That didn't count? Okay. This counted. That has armor. waiting for him to do something and then just did that as a punish. Okay, you're just gonna slap my cankles while I have my back facing you. You had so much time to do shit to me there and he did nothing. Alright, who's next? Oh, these low times. Oh, it's Leo. I couldn't tell with all the shit he's got on. <laughs> if I just keep hitting throw, eventually he'll let me throw him. Twice. Okay. Really? Hmm. Oh, well, that, that is definitely not safe. He can interrupt that. Ah, uh, he'll just punch you a bit. I'll just punch you a bit. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jumpy punch. Punchy punch. Just do uh, my weird not convict kick, convict kick. I'm not very confident with Armor King, I've got to admit, like, he has a lot of stuff that I'm like, oh, that's cool, but, like, I don't know, it's just not really, like, he doesn't really gel with me, you know, as much. I thought maybe, oh, he'll be really cool, I'll really like him, but, like, he's just, he's just not as fun for me, I think. Round one. Haha, <laughs> interrupted your Frankensteiner. Corporate elbow. Ow. Oh. I see you're actually hitting buttons. Didn't save you though. <laughs> Just 
just do the basic opening combo, followed by that. Oh, that whiffed. Oh. Oh. Keeps grounding me, isn't really utilizing this ability he has of knocking me airborne constantly. There's so many follow ups he could do. They're just letting me win, man, that's not fun. I think that's the biggest problem when you're starting a new character in these kind of AI focused ranking things, is you are at the bottom and the AI is just like, I will stand here and let you beat on me, and that's like the first 20 matches at least. And then you're like, oh, he's actually fighting back, but it's still not particularly difficult once you understand the game to like... Round one. I'll probably get beaten up now. Fight. I used to play Yoshi Mitsu all the time. And then I was just kind of like burnt myself out on the character. Stopped you stabbing me. Oh. Ooh, rage drived in the dick. Why does he keep punching me in the dick? Because he's Yoshimitsu. Okay, well, you just let me hit, hit, throw, so. Oh, okay, that doesn't count when he sat down. The low throw, you can't pick him up off the ground if he sat down. Maybe it just didn't work the way I wanted it to because he was transitioning into the city. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, wow, he's dead now. Oh, yeah, I didn't win the first round. No. No. He's flicking his swords around. Flick his soul caliber. Oh yeah, see, like, I try and grab him when he's going for a stance change, and it's just like, no, you didn't. There is no throw here. So I'll keep that in mind. People who know more than me. The first of many rage arts. I need to actually use his poison breath move. <laughs> I do like characters who have poison breath. Like, uh, Yoshi also has a poison breath move. I do like that. That is very good. <laughs> Raiden? <laughs> I'm here all week. <laughs> Just letting me hit you, dude. Like, round two, fight. Don't know why I'm going for the low grab. He's not ducking ever. There we go. Just standard throw because I'm a basic bitch with a armor king. Well, that went quickly. <clears throat> Alright, this better start picking up soon. <laughs> this is very hard to commentate over because it's just watching the AI just fuck around and you're like, oh. Um. Mm. <laughs> already decided. Seems like the fate is that you've lost. Perfect. Fate was you got perfected. <laughs> so a weird trope in fighting games that I've just never really bothered to pick up on which is mystical woman with potentially some kind of 
seeing orb like Manas or her or like Rose and I'm just like oh the mysticism I don't care like it's great great trope but like I'm never gonna play a character like that GG let's move on you want to know a bad fact about language in gaming obviously in English you say GG GG in Chinese gaming when you say it in Chinese, means means <laughs> fuck you, you was really easy. Like it's basically saying easy, look at these guys, they fucking suck. Like their slang is like the opposite. <laughs> so you can really get fucked when you're playing online with Chinese people. They're going, oh yeah, GG, and they're like, fuck you, how dare you say that to me? And I'm like, uh, uh, what? I thought GG means good. Means good in most languages. Oh, okay, okay, King. I will slap a slapper. Ha <laughs> ha! Sick shit, man. Oh no! Okay, that was pretty hype, though. That was pretty hype, I like that. Ah! Oh. I'm starting to feel like King might be too good. <laughs> if, like, low-level AI and me <laughs> can do it okay, I think it's like... Yeah, it's okay, just do play safer, do some distancing, it's fine. I'll stop him getting his giant swings in. Just keep doing that one, two, sidekick. Sidekick. Missed. Back to sidekick. Yeah! <laughs> can't throw what you can't catch. Rah, I am Tiger. I am Snow Leopard. <laughs> oh, at least one hype thing happened. <laughs> that was pretty cool, that slow motion backflip and then he just turns around and does go straight into a giant swing. It's like, oh, fuck. Yes. I want to buy geese. I am a poor boy. Feel free to give me money. I don't know how you can give me money, but just give me money. So I can be bad at geese. And be bad against geese. I can save this. I won't, but I can save this. I got repugnant. Round two. Fight. It's got the creepy socks on. Geese has the creepy socks on. Ugh. Okay, just gonna keep jabbing at you until you... Yeah! Nice. Oh shit. I do love that sidekick. Frankensteiner is hella unsafe. Both King and Armor King, you're just not gonna get that out very often. You've really gotta do some shit to like... get it to work. Oh, am I gonna lose? Am I gonna lose? But there's so much video left. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for the backwards roll low sweep, so I didn't risk it. Yeah, now I'm Dan. I am the first Hibiki. 
Oh great, I can put Armor King in a nappy. Awesome. That's definitely my fetish. <laughs> Seriously, this game, what the fuck? Like, the costume options are just so dumb. Those nunchucks are huge. I've never noticed that before. Okay, we're at initiate level, so that was pretty quick. We got to the blues. We got to the blue buttons. Maybe they're fast tracking me. Because I'm so great, obviously. I win. <laughs> oh, I got some more Armor King swag. Okay, what's next? Loading is next. I think it's Panda next by the look of it. In the little timestamp thumbnails I'm seeing. Oh man, I, I have never really fought Kuma or Panda. I think I've played as those characters like twice. Round one. Fight. Just, just throw the Panda. Low kick the Panda. Slam the Panda. Kick the panda. Round two. Fight. Mm -hmm. I don't really understand panda's shit. I just know when you throw panda, it looks terrible. Panda. Bad Panda. Yeah, clip through that fur. Yeah. Get back to being endangered. <laughs> oh, yay. I got some stuff for Lucky Chloe. Yay. Oh man, <clears throat> uh, hopefully they get a little harder later. Uh, <laughs> it's just kind of like they go hit, hit, and then stop, and you're like, oh, okay, block, then just hit them back, I guess? Oh man. Flying elbow slash. Doing a lot of that one two one two. You can tell I don't know a lot about this character, but it's fine, we're working out. Oh, sweep. Okay. <laughs> Got slapped in the dick. Okay. Yeah, I've seen that a lot. The, the back 1-1 one, one kicks thing. Oh, that didn't land. It's a little weird. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, no, no, that's not. There we go. There you go. Basic one, two, three. With the, the square and the hit, the square, 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 and the triangle, 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 and you, you'll be fine. Uh, who's next? Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm a big Armor King fan. I mean, I'm not a huge Craig Marduk fan, and I've played a lot of him too, so... You know, might just bounce off of this. Hey, it's... It's Master Raven. Fight. 
Yeah, you can't throw someone who's doing a weird flippy kick. Oh, she broke it. Well done, AI. You can break throws now. You're learning. Good combat. Oops. Okay, I, I will take away my passive-aggressive commentary. Ooh, okay, spicy. But you're still weak to my dumb rage art bullshit. If you're gonna just stay on the floor, I'll just kick your butt a little bit. <laughs> Let's just move on. Now, I'm pretty sure I remember that it's almost instantly after fighting Master Raven, they made me fight the exact same Master Raven because there was just something weird happening when I was playing this game lately. Y yeah, <laughs> okay. I mean, like, you know... Ah, I see you did the teleport kick. Big thing I've always had about the Raven uh, movesets is that I've always been like, this is really cool, there needs to be more of these cool teleport dive kick things. Because there's only a few. You know, and there should be like a lot more. <laughs> There should be a lot more of it, because I played Raven for a while too on Dark Resurrection and was like, oh, this is super cool. It's just a shame there isn't like at least 10 more moves where they do sick teleport shit. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh, you missed. Jamist. Jalost. Ja rule. It's your final round. Oh, you see, like that. That's cool. There needs to be more of that. Maybe there is more of that. Maybe I should play Master Raven. Frankenstein. Kicked. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> that was cool. I do like, Armor King has some good air throws. I might have to learn how to like get people in the air with Armor King. He doesn't really have like the giant hammer uppercut that King has, he has something else. If you do that and then you can combo people and then end it on like one of those throws, that would look really cool. Especially if you could get a wall bounce in, where you smack them, they wall bounce, and then you're just like, they're in the air and you're just like, Muscle Buster! That would be cool. Like, there's some stuff that you could lab, definitely. Oh, double damage, King V Armor King. This is gonna be... Weird. No! Don't hit me. Rude. Ruining my jeans. Ruining my jeggings. Oh, I missed. No, I want to give you the poison stat ailment that isn't in this game. Oh, no. Oh, great. I saved it. I'm now initiated. He's so happy about his promotion. Does this one come with health insurance? Rawr. I mean, rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> Whoa, what we got? I just fought this guy. I think the game's sick of my shit at this point. Is it the same guy? If it, yeah, it's DJ Angel again. But he's mentor now. Dicks, man. 
Oh, fine. Guess the last one was double damage, so this is just more of a normal match. It's like twice in a row they made me fight the same guy twice. Hmm. Seriously, if at the beginning of the match I can walk up to you and just put a standard throw in and you're gonna let that happen. Like, dude. It's not even hard in Tekken 7 to break a throw. I mean, this is obviously AI, but if you're online and you can just walk up to a dude and go, triangle and circle, and they go, what? <laughs> it's just like, yeah, dude, learn how to break throws. Like, it's literally just hit any button. Pretty sure it's just hit any button. It's a big pink flash for fuck's sake. I mean, I just, oh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Fuck! He's doing that shit I forgot how to do because I haven't got my flow chart. <laughs> oh. oh no! I'll save it with cheese balls. I don't deserve that. I'm turning rage arts off. So cheap. So weak. <laughs> oh, me and my friends used to play Ge Gears of War 2 way too much and we'd be at a bar and then one guy would be like, oh, I don't want to drink anymore, like whatever or something like that. Or he'd say something dumb and we, like one of my friends would just do the locust voice and be like, so weak. <laughs> just put you mom. <laughs> I don't know why I found him funny. Oh, I haven't played him for a while. I used to love playing as Warong. And I always say his name wrong. How wrong is Warong? How wrong can I say his name? I just give up at this point. Just say Taekwondo guy, because it's embarrassing. I could have just hit him. I don't know why I went for a huge start move like that to finish the fight. Like, just, you know, you can see I'm starting to do shit that has massive start up, and I'm like, why no work? AI just not letting me hit them anymore. Unga bunga. Do big flashy kicks with huge recovery. Great plan. Awesome. Yeah, the counter nothing. Great, great work, dipshit. <laughs> no, they're using their brains. No! Oh, the disrespect. The computer based disrespect. Stamp on me. Stampy. Hee <laughs> hee. I did a flip. You don't know where I am. You can't see me. I'm like John Cena. Oh. 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 Well, that didn't work out. That didn't work out at all. Game over.